Hey everybody, it is Resale Discovery here. My name is Jeffrey. And as promised, I have finally got to the point where I can make a what sold on eBay video. I've tried to pull up the last couple weeks worth of sales. Um, there are a couple things I'm not going to show you. Uh, just because they're repetitious and we'll get to that. Alright. This is a Texas instrument graphic calculator sold for $9.99 plus a dollar shipping. I believe I picked this up at a garage sale for like 50 cents or a dollar. So, you know, I made money on it. Uh, these are always a good thing to pick up. Any sort of these uh, college level calculators. Uh, and I'm going to be looking for more during the summer to sell for when school gets uh, back on. Nobody wants to pay full price for these. So, when uh, kids go into college, they, they want a deal. They don't have a lot of money. They see one on eBay for, you know, 10 or 20 bucks if it's a better model. They'll pick it up. This was a new in-box 3-port USB gigabit LAN adapter. So, what this had in it Let's see if I can find a good picture. Here's the top of it. It had USB ports and a gigabit Ethernet port. Let's see. You can see right there on the manual that you could plug it in. So if your network jack went out in your desktop or laptop, this could replace that so you don't have to have an expensive replacement. Um, because those things can be quite expensive if you had to replace your motherboard or anything like that. You could just plug this in, get the drivers, which this had everything. The drivers, the manual, the power, and you also have some extra USB ports. And that sold for $11.99 with free shipping. Uh, this was one of my hammocks that I've had for years and... Uh, these were some stock photos I found online. I couldn't really get good photos of the hammock. Uh, this came with the hammock, the bag, uh, some what they call whoopee sling suspensions, and it had a little storage bag inside to put like your cell phone and stuff at night. Uh, the only thing it didn't have was the tarp because the tarp got really messed up in my, one of my storage sheds. And this was $100 plus $7.85 in shipping. And I will sort of miss it, but I got some other hammocks that I like now, so it's fine. Star Wars books. I picked these up at a at the thrift store on half off day. Um, and I lotted them together. And they were all kind of myth mismatched parts of different series and I guess somebody is a collector or one of them because they paid $19.99 plus the shipping and I believe that went media mail because these are books so I did pretty good because I picked these up for like 25 or 50 cents each on the half off day at Salvation Army so yeah definitely made some money off that these LSU golf tees, these were open. Uh, I don't think it was missing any. I did list as new, but I think I specified in the listing that it was open. And they look like they're all there. And this is one of the items I've been sitting on for a long time. Figured it would have to be the right time of year or the right buyer to want some golf tees. $9.95 plus shipping. I can't really remember what I paid for these because I've been sitting on them for so long but I think I made just a few bucks because I think I paid a little bit more than I should have this kids learning keyboard has all the red and green and blue keys to teach uh, kids about how to type on a keyboard this was another thrift store item that I picked up on a half off day so I couldn't have paid more than a buck for it or yeah maybe a dollar two dollars I still made nine dollars and nine cents plus the shipping which was 732 
This is a older Apple iMac power adapter. I probably could have got a little bit more money for this, but again, this is one of those, uh, I think I might have found this at a garage sale. At, yeah, for like 50 cents or a dollar. And I made $9.99 plus the shipping. Uh, those are always good to find. Anything Apple is a good pickup. Uh, these are out of the fishing lure lot that I bought. Uh, when I was talking about the repetitious sales, I sold a bunch of different lures. I only pull, pulled a few of them up. It's that time of year. People who like to go fishing are going fishing. And they're buying these lures. Uh, I have all sorts of different ones. But they're all the name brand is Trigger X. And they're all aggression. Uh, it's supposed to be really good. I saved some for myself. I have honestly not got a chance to test them. So I've been too busy with just life. And the eBay store. And the YouTube videos. And, <laughs> and now it's starting to get super hot down here. So I either got to go fishing early morning or late evening. But I did save some of them that I want to try. So, uh, yeah, some of these that were sold, that was $4.50, which I have factored in free shipping. I'm not only making a couple bucks, like 250 or so off of each one, but, you know, I have bunches and bunches of, of these. So, uh, long term, I'll make money. It's just going to take a while. This was a really good find. This was an Apex digital converter. Digital and analog TV converter box. New. Um, I got this at half off sale at the thrift store. For four or five bucks. So I didn't make a killing on this. For $13.99 plus the five dollar shipping. Um, I made a few bucks. But you know. I'm not going to go buy a new house for that sort of money. This was also a thrift store find. Uh, it was actually over by the kids clothes and kids shoes. Uh, sometimes they stick stuff on top of the shelves and you have to kind of look through the stuff. And I found this and I knew, hey, it's new. It's a cartridge for this uh, Turbo Twist game for grades level 5 and 6. And so I definitely made some money off that. Basically 10 bucks with shipping. So that was that was good. Uh, this is out of the auto parts that I'm selling for a buddy of mine. Um, we kind of have a deal. This is a interior door handle for a Ford. And I got $19. 99 cents plus the shipping. This is a smartwatch with the different bands on it. This is a Jarva Elite smartwatch with the instructions and the power cord and the different color bands. So you get a bunch of different options. And I picked this up at, I believe, a garage sale for maybe a buck or two. And I got $14.95 plus the shipping. Again, some more lures. I didn't pull them all up just to show you a different set. Um, these are more of the Trigger X Aggression. This is a type of uh, Pro Worm Red Shad. I think the other ones I pulled up earlier were like a Flapping Bug. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much all the orders I pulled up for today. Um, I do have one pending order. I'm going to tell you, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and see if I can get it real quick. These I made a little bit of a mistake on, and I'll share my mistake. Sometimes I don't always research before I list. Uh, these Maxwell audio cassettes, the XL2s, the 5-packs, the high bias. I tell you guys, if you see these, 
it's crazy these sell for over 20 bucks like soul comps on ebay in fact i'll show you right now and i only got 10 for mine because i did not do my research before i listed and you know sometimes you know you just get in a hurry and you just want to put the things up and it doesn't matter to me so much because I only paid like maybe 50 cents for them. Like, here's the five count Maxwell XL2s for 16.50 sold. Five Maxwell XL2s, 20 bucks sold. Five Maxwell XL2s. This is 33 bucks. So yeah, I lost out on some money. The weird thing is that I have other Maxwell tapes that I've since researched, but they don't sell for as much as, let me see if I can do the search here. They don't sell for as much as those. I guess those are better quality. Here we go. I have this 10 pack here listed for $11.95. And if you look up the 10 pack on eBay and you look up the sole comps, let's see, go to the sole items, they don't sell for as much. Okay. You are 90, what did I have? Do these have a model number? You are normal bias, you are. UR 90s, okay. I probably need to add the UR 90. That's $19.80. These are $14.99, which mine are $11.95 because if you see in the picture, the package is open, but all the tapes are sealed, so it's not quite, you know, sealed like this other listing looks. Uh, UR90 10 pack $19 so you know it's not the 20 to 25 but it's still like 20 bucks and then I have an RCA 6 pack so we'll just change this here RCA if you watch my recent garage sale video you'll know I got some cassette tapes that's about VHS. I don't even see a RCA six pack of tapes. Okay. Um, you'll know I got some cassette tapes that are garage sale. Oh, okay. Because it says 10. And so it was a bundle deal. Oops. Phone. I mean, mouse. Whatever you are over there that's not doing what you're supposed to do so when you get things in a bundle bundle deal it's a little bit harder to price what you paid per item there we go there's a six pack ten bucks I think I have mine priced around that and those are the exact same things I have so the other ones I have priced are priced fine just those Maxwell uh, MX2's are really expensive so be on the lookout for those just a kind of bolo and that should catch all up for now um, I appreciate everybody watching if you can click the like button and well more the subscribe button below and the little notification you'll know when I post new videos and again I'm still planning out the intro video I want to find a really nice spot like inside of a uh, maybe a library or you know an office building where I can get good lighting and good audio for my intro video uh, I did do one at a hotel when I was out of town but the camera was shaky because I didn't have my tripod so that would be ideal but I'm not going to rent a hotel room just to do an intro video I'm going to try to find something free <laughs> so y'all be on the lookout for that and if you click the subscribe button with the little bell down below You'll get a notification. And thank you.
have a nice day.